Vlogmas, how are you? Are you doing okay? Hopefully we're not close to a year in burnout and hopefully you're kind of like getting ready to close up shop, close up office, maybe like pack a bag for a summer vacation. Oh, love that for you. But if you're staying home like me and if you're planning on doing like things around the house, which we're gonna do in this vlog because I don't wanna leave everything for like the end, you know, like literally leave everything and then just work, 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 work and then end up not really like enjoying because there's just too much to do. There's a lot that I wanna do. But yeah, I just want to take a little bit of a balanced approach, you know me, like I do my self-care in between my work, I take like little days off, but because I really enjoy what I do, it's difficult to like take like a full break and like a week off, if that makes sense. But yeah, Brain is also working throughout like December because of his health earlier this year and like the sick leave that he took. So yeah, we're just going to be at home and you're going to spend time with us. But yeah, I think you're going to enjoy this vlog because it's going to be like a homey one. And I think you're going to love my outfit today. Well, at least if you don't like it, I know I like it. I'm really liking this color combination. Like the pants and this um, silk blouse is kind of like the same color family, just opposites. So the pants are like a, almost like an orangey, like dirt bronzy color. And then the top is like a, um, a dusty pink. And then just this pop of white is just so pretty. The pants are fairly new from H&M. Um, this is also from H&M, but this little button up thing is old and I just have it open. I took the pants in a size bigger because I wanted it to be a bit more like loose fitting and comfortable and then I just have like the drawstring like really nice and tight and you know when I'm at home I have my little slippers and behind me <laughs> I have my Xiaomi vacuum misplaced she needs a new home because she used to live over there but now this fat tree is blocking her driveway so she can't get in and out <laughs> So I guess let's find her a new home. The tricky part is needs to be plugged in so I can't just put it anywhere because obviously it's electronic. Um, so I kind of need to put it where I have an outlet. So I'm going to try behind that sideboard maybe. <laughs> out on some like literally I don't know what it's called but the lady that did our garden when we moved in did these like borders and it looks like grass it doesn't even look pretty and they're like half of them are dead and half of them are green and I was just like ripping them out I was just like I've had enough 
I just they're not pretty I don't like them I've been saying that I'm gonna rip them out and just today was the day I couldn't even find the gloves I was just like stuff it I'm just gonna like that was a bit of a therapy session this morning and then I said bring was go get us um, a McDonald's breakfast because we have load shedding and yeah, I think I'm coming up to my period, so started the day with a bit of gardening and um, a sausage McMuffin, orange juice and a hash brown. Lovely. And yeah, I'm just trying to finish some edits um, and did some emails and like morning admin and I feel like everyone is just so on edge. Like everyone is just so like nippy and almost like... I know everyone wants to go on holiday and everyone wants to just like finish the year strong but I read a quote this morning it came up on my Instagram this is your reminder to stop stressing to finish the year off strong you can finish it off grateful relaxed slowly peacefully the idea that we always need to be doing and achieving only creates cycles of anxiety rushing will not solve your problems rest will and i just i was just like oh, finally someone said it because i'm as much as i'm working hard i am working hard i'm working extra hours i'm always working hard but i'm also always friendly i'm always inviting and i feel like your your um your aura can really like rub off on a person so if you're constantly working with someone that's just not helpful and someone that just like we're all tired we're all like trying to just finish this year and if we just work together and we're just doing it together and just we're friendly with each other we're lovable like we will feel like we're, fi we're finishing it in a good way if that makes sense and not like oh i'm done i'm leaving and i know like everyone's job is different like for me it's obviously like a lot different because i work within my passion field so someone that's not necessarily like working within their passion I feel like it can be different just working to pay the bills i understand that completely not everyone is so fortunate i'm very fortunate to wake up every single day and like do what i love but it doesn't mean that i don't work hard and that i don't have like a lot of stress and a lot of things to get done like we all do i just feel like it it just depends like how you see it and like how you treat people because at the end of the day like you won't remember like how much money someone made you or like um you know how this and this and this and this you'll remember you you'll remember how that person made you feel if that person made you feel like on edge like almost like you're too afraid to ask a question because they're snappy or like whatever the case may be like it's so hard especially if you're like like a really kind and friendly person like it's hard to just be yourself if someone doesn't like like return that you know so if you are in the same boat, just know you're not alone and we can finish this year gracefully. We can finish in, we can finish it in a loving manner, in a kind manner. Just stay true to yourself. Like don't let other people's like demeanors or like their way of maybe that's their personality, but it's hard because sometimes people are like they're nice and sometimes they're not but sometimes they might just be going through something really tough that you don't know about so it's not always about us like it's not about this job situation it's not about this campaign it's not about this email or this description for the day um or task for the day it's about maybe this person is dealing with the loss of a loved one maybe this person is dealing with someone in hospital maybe someone is dealing with something beyond their control and something that isn't related to work but it still affects us so I'm trying to always like remember that maybe it's not about like it's not about me today although it makes me feel less valued it makes me feel a little bit more stressed um it's not about me and i just need to kind of like also find out how i can support this person as well so yeah just a little heart to heart i'm gonna finish this video strong but relaxed not stressed very calming because i feel like that's how i produce my best work and then i'll catch up with you a little bit later oh 
my gosh that was such a little treat i just had to i dipped my foot my little toes into the water and it was the perfect temperature and it's like boiling today i think it's like 36 or 37 degrees it's so hot and our pool is like the perfect temperature we have like solar um pool heating so when it's a hot hot day the pool is just like you know it's enough just to like ah, cool you down but it's not freezing cold and like you go like this you just like fall into the pool and it's just like so relaxing and as i was floating i was just having a moment of thankfulness and just so grateful to have like our little zen zone our sanctuary and i'm excited to spend more time here around the festive season and i'm so into gardening and i feel like it's also getting me excited to be outside i'm having a bit of a purge moment with the garden um i was very much like into white icebergs like a white garden but i'm leaning more towards the color side of things like almost like pastel -y colors and then outside i want to make like because we have like a garden outside um i want to do like the dreamiest rose garden the most fragrant rose garden but gardening takes a while it takes a lot of patience <laughs> takes a lot of perseverance and just a lot of nurturing so i'm excited like i'm really excited to just make it our own and just create our little sanctuary even more but yeah i need to um head on the road because i have an appointment in like 40 minutes so i need to leave in about 10. i have an event on saturday um which is two days from now and i have absolutely nothing to wear because i've recently purged my wardrobe and i did it again i have quite a few things to put on yaga as well which we'll do a little bit later um but yeah, i have nothing to wear it's like a formal event glamour like think glamour think like over the top and i'm going with absa so i'm thinking of maybe doing something red we shall see but let me get ready for that and then we can go for the fitting Hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart I am home, my leafies, and phew! It is hot, driving back an hour with low shedding traffic in this heat is insane i think on the radio they said in palaborwa it's like 57 and on our weather thing it says 35 i feel like it's close to 40 if not over 40 but yo today was a scorcher and it's like it's giving dubai it's giving welcome to dubai and speaking of dubai i fell down a little bit of a rabbit hole with arabic fragrances and i wanted to kind of just i got them yesterday and i unboxed them and i like sprayed one and i just had to take a shower because i didn't like it but this one i like so yeah i will share the other ones with you later in this vlog i just wanted to form my opinion and just wear them so i wore this one today like literally this cream from fenty it's the um warm cinnamon shimmering whipped oil body cream butter drop it literally it smells like a bakery like cinnamon rolls it's not like sickling sweet it's like sugar like burnt sugar kind of sweet and i wanted to find a fragrance that i could layer it with so i wore it today like i put like a little bit of the fragrance and a little bit of the cream but it's not i was only out for two hours and i can't really like smell it anymore not as good as i can smell my oud espan like all throughout the day so in terms of longevity i mean it was only like 5.99 or something but yeah this is the fragrance 
It's called Kamra by Latafa. So I only went out for like two hours, but I can't smell it that intensely anymore. But it's such a beautiful fragrance. It really does like just marry so well with this fenty like cinnamon butter drop. So the top notes are cinnamon nutmeg and bergamot so it does have like a little bit more of a freshness to it and dries down so beautifully the middle notes are date praline tuberose and mahonial which i've never heard of but it looks like a some type of floral vanilla tonka bean benzoin amber wood myrrh and akil gala wood akil gala wood i don't know how to pronounce that but it, I love Myrrh and Tonka by Jo Malone. So the Tonka Bean, the Myrrh, love a vanilla scent. I'm quite picky with my vanilla scents though. But it's like, it's very, very um, gourmand. You know, like, just you want to eat it. It's not like sweet, whereas it's, it smells like candy and like sickling. It's really just, just smells like a warm pastry like a dessert like cinnamon sugar oh, it just smells so good but it doesn't last really long on me like it is such a stunning stunning fragrance and the other ones i got i got two other ones the one i didn't like i literally sprayed it on yesterday when it came and i just wanted to take a shower and then the other one, um, which I'll probably wear to, um, let me actually just take this out of the box. I just wanted to show you, um, but I'll probably keep it for TikTok so I can do like a little bit of a review because especially with the other one that I got, I feel like I was lied to a little bit because it really doesn't smell nice. Um, I'll show you later, but yeah, I really do like this one. It's just the longevity isn't like up there for me i feel like arabic fragrances are known for their intenseness like how long they last but this was really affordable this was only like 5.99 so i mean you can't really compare it to like a four or five thousand rand fragrance like dior i mean they are quite pricey and you literally need like two or three sprays and i can smell udespan on me even after i took a shower i even have the hand wash which is like on the end i literally love this fragrance and that's why i got the other one because it was like a oudy scent this one has a little bit of woodiness to it but it's not oud so yeah i'll share that one with you later i need to get dressed i'm excited for my dress that i'm wearing on saturday showed you a little bit of a, sh uh, a sneaky peek um but yeah i think i'm gonna like do my nails red tomorrow and just have like a red lip and just like oh, need to get dressed for the gym and then we can leave because i need to leave early because of this load shedding it's gonna take me an eternity to get to the gym so let's get dressed and let's get our body moving and go to our body pump right. dance, 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 dance. Dance, dance we're gonna dance we're gonna okay. dance, 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 dance 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 have a good time dance dance, 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 dance all night Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. should take this off because it's contributing to my heat but leafies where is jace and what did you do to her because like red nails i haven't done red nails in years i haven't done anything other than french in years to be quite exact i'm such a born nail girl and i'm so boring with my nails by the way if you don't have like a little fan like this how are you doing? 
wake up in this heat. And how are you sleeping with this load shedding? I should be getting um, like a rechargeable fan. I saw that Xiaomi has one. I should be just getting one of those because we have an aircon, but none of that works if we have load shedding. And we are currently on stage six. We have load shedding right now. I have like my hair stuff plugged into the inverter so that I can just get ready. So yeah, the Glamour Awards will be taking place in a couple of hours. It is around two now and I'm gonna leave at around 4.30. So yeah, I have around two and a half hours to get ready and I'm like, filming a get ready with me so i just want to make sure that i have enough time and i'm drinking my electrolytes because i can feel that i'm dehydrated i'm just gonna pop this here Ooh, that works so i'm gonna get ready start my makeup do my hair and then we are gonna be going to the glamour going to ask how I did my hair so I was kind of torn between my crimping hair you know the mermaid hair but I couldn't find my crimper so I went with which I think fits the event a little bit better these like Hollywood kind of glam waves so I'm just doing them now and just pinning them up because this heat I don't want to like risk doing it and letting them drop too quickly because I'm only leaving in maybe like 30 to 45 minutes the power should come back on in the next few minutes hopefully the drama makeup just like a glam I want to do a red lip because obviously red nails but yeah i just want to finish this last little piece i do have a little bit of a potential outfit dilemma because this dress is pretty see-through <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna have to wear like some sort of body underneath i really hope i do have one but yeah i'm gonna have to see what it looks like which i'm very excited for this event um i did share with you that i'm going with absa but a couple of years ago i actually got nominated and received an award um as one of the glamour's most glamorous women of 2019 and something I'm very very proud of and I was also on the hair cover of Glamour magazine which I have on my little magazine cover wall in the hallway and yeah, I'm just so excited for all of the beautiful women that are going to be honored tonight I saw Lungile up there who else did I see I can't remember now um, but I will of course bring you Libby's along I'm going to do a little TikTok, I think, of like what everyone wore. So I'll show you like mine, I think. And then I'll show you like outfits and looks that I liked and what other people wore to the glamours. I don't, I don't know if they call it the glamours, most glamorous. It just says glamours, glamours, woman of the year award. So I think it's the same thing. I think they just kind of rebranded it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish my look. going to put red lips on, of course, because I feel like this look would just be absolutely complete 
with a red lip and I want to touch on the fragrance again <laughs> as mentioned earlier in this vlog because I actually wore the um, Latafa Camera quite a bit and at the gym I got some compliments and I could smell it the whole time so I don't know if I didn't spray it enough um, or if my workout just kind of you know oozed it up back into the air I don't know but I think I'm gonna wear it tonight again with that Fenty fragrance because I have like my shoulders exposed and that Fenty um, shimmering butter bomb something like that the cinnamon stick one it has the most beautiful like shimmer to it so I really really want that on like my arms and my decolletage and I really just want to look like a summer glamour girl that's what I want to look like I don't know what I'm gonna do for jewelry just yet but I am so hot I'm like sweating all of my makeup off I'm most probably gonna take this little fan with me I'm gonna have to put it on charge a little bit because I've been using it the whole time as I was getting ready and let me tell you if you don't have one of these you better get one this is just from like Safeway got it from clicks this game can't remember but it is a lifesaver today very merry Christmas anymore I felt like absolute garbage this morning and I called sanctuary spa and I was like do you at all at all have an opening today I haven't been here in absolute months I've missed it so much life happened this year just flew by like so many things have happened and I'm glad that I'm back to just like scheduling in my self-care like I would schedule in a meeting or a work responsibility or an event like it's literally so important to me just to like keep my own cup full so that I can pour graciously and just elegantly from it so yeah I just finished up with the best best massage when I um, got to the front desk Zintle was like I haven't seen you in months and I was like I know so I even like scheduled my next massage for December so that I can just you know I'm on top of it I put it into my calendar and we are gonna be doing it I'm excited they are quite fully booked so I literally took the only day they had open but yeah I um 
just had the base massage it's not like I have an off day I have so much to do but I just had to fill my own cup I need to go drop off this dress I got so many compliments wearing this dress you have no idea and I got a ton of compliments with my fragrance as well like everyone was asking what I was wearing and yeah I think I can give Latafa Kamra a thumbs up just spray like a lot then it'll last because it lasted quite well on me and um, I have one more to try that I wanted to show you later I also got the nicest um, well I haven't seen what's in what's in it but the biggest gift from Glamour and Absa yeah we had the best evening with Glamour and with Absa of course they um, awarded the finance award and so many other awards um, were given out from musician from content creator which obviously Pamela won because she is incredible and it just stems back to the day I got my um, award from Glamour as well and just being recognized for what you're doing and it feels good like it feels so good and I was just so happy for all of the girls women that took home awards and not just them just the woman that was in the room you could just feel the presence and like you know we we were all taking up the space and it was just so nice to witness the meals were delicious we got home so late though i only got into bed at like one o'clock so sunday was a proper sunday just like went to church went to lunch and like tried to rest as much as possible i could do with a little bit more though so yeah let's go drop off this um little dress it is a very little dress <laughs> but I absolutely loved wearing it and I felt so stunning so confident and just like I felt like a woman in it you know I just felt really really good so I'm gonna drop this off and then we can go home make lunch and continue work for the day because I have tons and tons to do At my little KFC <laughs> I always just get the pops and um, yeah I wanted to show you what we got from the glamour awards we got this pink box from them don't know what's inside we're gonna open it together and then we got a little gift from Absa and standard beauty so from Absa we obviously I made my nails red especially for Absa and we got, I did a red lip and everything, and we got a little lipstick that they've collaborated on with Avon. And it says here, keep these cards in your wallet, and it has the lipstick inside. I love that. That is just so cute. And then I haven't tried Standard Beauty, but I think I've heard of it like once or twice. This is BHA Salicylic Acid face wash and then we also got a 1% ceramide butter for dry and dull skin and then a little peachy turmeric glow oh that smells so good this is a peach turmeric duo scrub anti-inflammatory restores your glow i might just have to try that tonight because but I feel a little bit inflamed after this heat and not much sleep and hydration at all. And obviously after the KFC, I might feel a little bit more <laughs> inflamed. This is a peptide lip glaze with hyaluronic acid. Oh, this looks so nice. Love it. Oh, wow. I've heard of Standard Beauty before. Oh. Mm, that is very nice this might just go into like the car so that i make sure i always have a lip gloss on me this is 1.5 percent hyaluronic acid and peptides for all skin types um i think it's like a serum it has anti-aging benefits extreme hydration improve, improved firmness dermatologist approved Let's see doesn't really have a scent to it but yeah that's what i got from standard beauty thank you so so much this smells so good 
I love peach. Like I'm, I really like the smell of like peachy things. I want to see what this looks like. The face wash. So salicylic acid is really good if you deal with breakouts. Um, this exfoliates, soothes, and helps with acne. So if you're going through a little bit of a heat rash moment at the moment as well, I think it'll help you. Um, I definitely feel that like on the back of my legs, like with the heat. That's where I just. That's why I just wore like a loose dress today because yo, this heat is like killing me. I have the aircon on right now. Let's see what is in this box. I'm so excited. It's quite heavy. She's a heavy girly. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a goodie bag. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, like a whole little makeup gift baggie from Avon. It has a glimmer stick eyeliner. It has a nail enamel. We have, ooh, I've been wanting to smell this. The Far Away Beyond the Moon. I love the Far Away fragrances. Excuse the washing machine. I feel like this is becoming like a fragrance channel. how to explain this but it it smells like one of the good girl fragrances it truly does like I don't know how to explain it but this is the beyond the moon I should actually look up the the notes and I'll put them on the screen um, I don't have my phone with me right now but it feels like it could have has a little bit of a woodiness to it freshness but a slight spice not too much just enough it really smells like one of the good girl fragrances so i mean far away has some really good fragrances that are really affordable avon is an affordable brand go girl go you do your thing <laughs> it's on the spinning cycle and then we got a nail enamel which i'm assuming is gonna be red yes girl we have a nice bright red from avon and then blackest black eyeliner oh it smells so good like i can't get over how it smells like let me find it very very close it's so close the black and gold good girl by carolina herrera it's so close so so close they could be like sisters not twins probably sisters i love the faraway fragrances Oh. yeah this one has a little bit this one is a bit sweeter like slightly slightly i wonder if i can actually compare the notes i'm gonna put both of the notes on the screen we'll see if my my nose is that clever i i doubt that it is because i'm not very good with explaining what fragrances smell like but um literally from the opening they kind of remind me of each other if that makes sense and then ooh, castor oil i've been using castor oil for my hair lately and i can't tell you how many like little castor oil is obviously a natural product but i can't tell you how many like new little baby hairs are just popping up everywhere so it looks like a native child also has one you can also just use like straight up castor oil and then we got i love these uh, doing washing love these dr beckham glow white ultra um i think these are the little sachets yeah 540 gram sachets that you literally just like pop into the washer as you wash i'm so excited this is like 
this is a sign that you're getting old if you get excited about washing powder and then we got some switch beauty bits we have a soothing anti-blemish serum and then a superhero spray love and then also have some dove body wash and lotion satis skin was also they also had a booth there and what else we have some skin republic collagen oh i have some of these and i think i have like two left really love these and then sadly sadly the arrows are now meltos but we shall still enjoy them don't get me wrong but yeah thank you so much to all of the brands for all of these lovely goodies i am going to pack everything away probably do a little face mask we got such nice little treats in this goodie bag thank you so much to glamour thank you so much to absa for having me and again congratulations to each and every woman that went and got awards got nominated we see you like you are being seen and if you haven't received a nomination or an award for your work or your craft don't find it discouraging because you need to be your own biggest cheerleader and sometimes we don't get awarded for the greatest work we do but someone sees it even if it's just your audience even if it's just a family member even if it's just like your next door neighbor like seeing what you are doing i'm here to tell you that you're doing great and you can do even better with this last little stretch of the year I'm gonna pack everything away and finish all of my work for today. I am taking a little bit of a break off of gym today because I'm feeling like a little bit from my period. So yeah, I'm gonna relax, pack everything away and finish my work for the day. Very Merry Christmas to you. Good morning, my leafies. I was editing this vlog last night and I realized two things that I never showed you the rest of the Arabic fragrances and that I never ended this vlog. I've already started multiple other vlogmases and it's just taking me a while to edit them because you kind of have to make sure that they're wholesome and complete. So when I say in the beginning that I'm going to share the other Arabic fragrances with you, I kind of have to carry through with that. So that's what we're doing today. And then I'm going to bring you along my day. I have my last meeting for the year in Santon, which I'm not very excited about because it's literally days before Christmas. And it's just so busy and it really just overwhelms me even like going away this time of year i just don't like it i know a lot of people don't have the choice they don't have any other choice because kids are on holidays and that's the only time they can take like a big chunk of their leave but if we have a choice i would just prefer going in the year because it's just a lot more relaxing a lot more quiet but yeah the one fragrance that i did share with you was this one obviously love it love 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 it just spray a lot because if you spray a little it doesn't go, a little doesn't go a long way with this fragrance you just kind of have to like spray a lot but i love it especially for this time of year if i wasn't wearing another one for you today i would probably be wearing this the one that i'm not gonna spray and not gonna wear is this one because i feel like i was a little bit lied to on tiktok and i tried to look at videos and i looked at the comments and a lot of people say that they don't like it and a lot of people say that they love it so i'm confused i kind of looked at the notes to see what i don't like about it and i just think it's a lot happening amber oud wood warm spicy caramel which i don't smell in this at all balsamic which is like very acidic like at the back of the throat and i think like the smokiness as well it's like to me, it smells like burnt newspaper. It's not like a good smoky smell. And then floral and sweet and rose as well. It's just like, it's a lot. So the top notes, rose, saffron, pimento. You, you smell the rose. Like the rose, this is the bottle. It's so pretty. I don't want to spray it on me because it's strong. Like she's a strong girly. And it, it took me three showers to finally just get it off me. The oud caramel floral notes patchouli raisin amber woody notes incense musk it's just it's a lot <sighs> she's strong it's a strong fragrance it's oud you can smell the oud you can smell the rose 
but I'm getting like that burnt smell at the back of my throat. If you like this kind of fragrance, please let me know. I will send this to you with the biggest pleasure. I don't think any of my friends would really like this because it's just, it's very, very strong. But yeah, I feel like I was a little bit lied to with this one. Also the packaging, it kind of, it doesn't match up to the other ones. I mean, this one looks really like bougie and so does this one. So I don't know. But let me know if you want that. I will send it to you. And then Fakar Latafa Feme. This is the female one. You get the male one as well. So this one kind of reminds me of Eli Saab. I will quickly put the, com the, the comparison of the two. But it's very bridally. It's very like it girl. Very clean but feminine. And has like the white flowers. It's just so pretty. So... This is White Floral Tuberose Fruity Sweet Animalic, which I searched up. It's, it's basically like the smell of fur or the smell of skin, which I think is very weird and woody. So the top notes, fruit, lily, pomegranate, and I don't know what aldehydes is and how they get it, but aldehydes, tuberose, jasmine, gardenia, honeysuckle, which is very similar to Elisab, like the white the white florals and the honey in there, and then ylang lang, rose, peony. So this fragrance has a lot going on, but it, it works. It just works. And then base notes of vanilla, am amber, broke sand, white musk and sandalwood. So it's just so beautiful. I mean, the bottle is stunning. So I'm gonna spray this today. And then we're gonna make our way to Santa. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring you along. I could hear the ocean. You can hear the aircon, but I can hear the ocean. It's just I'm on vacation. You know, it was really good. Like the fish and chips we go to is amazing, and I prefer actually. I got like a, two small hakes, and then I got some hake nuggets. I actually, prefer the nuggets because it's like bite size, and the crust is like all over. And then I love doing little chips with butter and just a white piece of bread. Unhealthy, well, we got best of both, but literally just a piece of Albany and chips and salt and vinegar and butter. That's like oh, the best thing. So I'm so full. Took my jacket off. I took my, I took, didn't take my pants off. My pants are unbuttoned. I really want to hop into a shower and just, get cozy i've been out all day but i think it's like six o'clock i can still smell the fragrance so thumbs up on the what is it fakra fakra feme i think that, i think that's the one i can't remember now but um yeah i just got them off take a lot i'll try and link them for you but you can buy them on I think Dubai Perfumes Essay or Dubai Perfume Cafe. I, I don't even know. 
this is just the references that I got on TikTok, but I just searched them on Take A Lot and um, I just bought them on <laughs> Take A Lot. So yeah, I'll try and um, link them if I remember, but if not, just search the name, it'll come right up. Even if you just search La Tafa Perfumes, a bunch will come up. There's a few that I want to try. Um, please do let me know which ones, if you got some and you love some of them. Let me know which ones you recommend you know me to try and then i don't know how i'm gonna do this oud mood fragrance <laughs> but if any of you want it let me know if there are too many requests for it i'll think of a way maybe just like put it on my yaga and just charge for delivery and then i can just like send it to you um but other than that i hope you ladies enjoyed this nice and long vlog <laughs> i have like one or two more then it's christmas and then it's new year's new year's reset i'm so excited to spend the new year with you but let's just finish this year let's just enjoy the festivities and yeah i will see you in the next one Mwah! love you bye